Ready to match the star, Bill Macy, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Elaine Joyce, Richard Dawson, and Betty Whites as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 75. And now here's the star of Match Game 75, Gene Watch it, man. Don't toy with me. Jane. She's been toy. Yes, sir. Elaine has her dress on backwards. <laughs> turn around. <laughs> she does. Hey, do you want me to turn it around? No, uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry we don't have enough tape in the machine to do oh, that. Okay, man. thank you. But thanks for the <laughs> offer. It was the sweetest thing that's happened to us all day. Are you quite ready? Sure. Shall I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Betty White to drop dead, for God to strike her dead. She had the nerve to sit in the, in our dressing room and say, I love to iron. Now, I you didn't know that's say a, I did iron, Mrs. I said White, I tell like the truth, iron. is that not a lie? <laughs> <That's Yes. right>. <laughs> <laughs> Her mother's in the audience and says, listen, let us not have this bickering. We all love each other. We're one big happy family here, aren't we? Say yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> say yes. Oh, what? Yes. <laughs> no. Well, let's say hello anyway to Roger Young and Verley Bailey. Will you do that? Roger Young is the current champion. He has won $2,150, and uh, he's going to pay his bills with that, which I think is a commendable thing to do. And Verley Bailey is challenging him. We've had the first round, and each of them have matched three of our celebrities. Verley, are you ready for round two? Right. You are. <laughs> Anything you say, dear. Mm -hmm. I love the color of your hair. I'm sorry to be personal. Star Earl, you're making noise back there. Quiet while the star is talking. Are you back there, Earl? No, he's not even there. Yeah. Somebody's making noise back nice. there. Well, if you're ready, we'll start in a moment or so, but right now we've got to do a little business, friends, so this is it. Love to shop? Price the following items for $30. Is it the massaging foot spa or the fast speed hair dryer? If you chose the foot spa, you're ready to clean up on Shop Till You Drop. Love to shop today, 4 3 Central, only on Game Show Network. There are only. Go, friends. I push it a button and ask Verly Bailey to make a selection. Good old B. B for Bailey. It uh, did her pretty good three uh, last time. What? So you do not play, you do not play, and Chuck. Charles do not play. The rest of you do, Bill, Brett, and Betty. Chuck. The three Bs, Bill, Brett, and Betty. Steve hates his ex-wife so much that every month, when he makes out his alimony check, he signs it in blank. <laughs> Now? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wrong. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> you got the idea. He's I looking mean. at me. He's, he's waiting. He's All right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's all got an idea. Go. No, I got to go with my first one. I got Okay. That was, uh, if I had been playing, that would have been my first one. What, what was yours? Everything all right? I well, I don't know. What are you doing? Did you finish? He, he you changed doing? the car. No, he was just uh, funning us there. Oh, Charles doesn't. All right. Put it in the slot there, and away we go. Verly Bailey. Steve. He hates his ex-wife so much that every month when he makes out his alimony check, he signs it in... Black ink. Don't they make you feel good when they do that? Terrible. All right, she says in black ink. One boo deserves another. Blood is the answer. Sounds in blood. What'd you say, Brett? What do you think I said? I said blood. Blood. Blood, blood. Every month when he makes out his alimony check, he signs it in, she says, black ink, and so far we've had two pints of blood. <laughs> Richard had the funny answer. He said invisible ink, but invisible I said ink. blood. Blood, yes. Invisible ink is very good. So, Bernie, you didn't score with that. Now we go to Roger Young here, and all he needs is one to untie the score and win the game. Let's see what happens. 
I don't write. You don't write, you don't write. Hardly worth us coming in, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's the three Charles don't again. write. The three don't write. Right. We does. The three dummies do, Bill, Brett, and Betty. That happens. Okay. Hey, you quit picking on Betty. Okay. Thank Here you. Here we go. Let me do it. <laughs> Are you ready? Shall I go on? Pinkbeard the pirate said to Long John Silver. <laughs> That's pink beard. <laughs> he says, I, matey. <laughs> oh, gosh. Being as we are the best of friends, would it be okay with ye if I blank your wooden leg? <laughs> now that was pink beard, wasn't it? Pink beard. Oh, that's lovely. I, matey, being as we are the best of friends, would it be okay with ye if I blank your wooden leg? <laughs> All right. Pink Beard the Pirate. <laughs> you don't write. I know. Oh, you're just doing it to uh, oh, make I a little joke. Now, what are all over there? Okay, just put it in a the slot there, Bill, and we'll get Brett's response in a moment. What, dear? Or two, anything oh, are we you all say? waiting for. Yeah, Is it right. blank your wooden oh, leg? Oh, would it be okay with you if I blank, blank you your wooden leg? Oh, honey, I okay. got it. Don't worry. Now, Rod. <laughs> Pink beard, you know, there's a, uh, what, it, what, does that look like pink beard to you? Looks like pink beard. But uh, the, that first letter really, could it could be, could be dink beard. Yes. It's, 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 <laughs> I'm a different person. And it says, you've got to be more careful with the printing there. That, uh, pink beard, the pirate said to Long John Silver, I, matey, being as we are the best of friends, would it be okay with ye if I blank your wooden leg? Kissed? <laughs> Same thing to him, Burley. They have no respect. No oh respect at all for anybody. Okay. Kiss my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. May we see yours, Bill yeah, Macy? I'm actually trying to play the match game, and in that case, since they were sailors, yeah. uh, I said swab. Swab, yes. Both of them, yeah, sitting around there. What do you or say we swab each other's around. legs or something? I don't know. <laughs> With a strange navy. What do you say, Brett? I said I hated my answer until I saw his. I said, <laughs> I struck my match on your wooden leg. Would it be okay if I struck my match on your wooden leg? Man? I don't do Wait, that. But may I say something? Yes. In two years of playing this, that is the worst answer I've ever heard. Gonna give and you the win one. the first prize worst award. <laughs> first prize. have some thudding bodies and stuff. <laughs> That's a thing. Thank you. Thank you very much, go, Mark. Away. Should I borrow that worst yeah. award? Yeah. The worst yeah. award, where is it? She oh, tore it up and threw it away. Now we come away. to Betty White. <laughs> Pink Beard, the pirate, said to Long John Silver, I, matey, being as we are the best of friends, would it be okay with you if I blank your wooden leg? And Roger said kissed. And the runner-up is... <laughs> shave. Shave your wooden leg. Okay. <laughs> well, would you believe we ended up in a tie here, three to three. So, we got to go to a tiebreaker after we go to this message of interest for you. Crafty chemical... Breaker time. Wipe the slate clean. There it is. Push the button. Two tie-breaking questions, one for each one. The one who wins the most matches will be the winner. Are you all ready? Okay, Burley. B. B for Bailey. Burley Bailey wants B. Everybody plays the tiebreaker. Dumb Dora was so dumb, she drank a blank cocktail. Oh, I got it. Oh, have I? Oh, That's oh it. I'm Richard so thrilled. Betty got it. Dumb Dora was so dumb, she drank a blank cocktail. That's good. Yeah, very good. Very good, everybody oh, oh ready. No. You want to do another one? It's yes, up to you. I have a... Okay. Okay, Burley. Dumb Dora was so dumb. How dumb was she? Thank you, Burley. She drank a blank cocktail. Nothing. What's that, Burley? She drank a nothing cocktail. 
A I nothing, draw a blank. You draw nothing, a blank. <laughs> nothing cocktail. A nothing cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> nothing in it. Nothing in it. <laughs> An empty glass. <laughs> That's close. Nothing. <laughs> She's from South Carolina. Leave her alone now. Ready Bill, what do you say? Award. <laughs> uh, Molotov? Molotov cocktail. You know what a Molotov cocktail is? Mm -hmm. You do. Okay, it's a very good answer. Brett, what do you say? Oh, really? I thought you had it made. Molotov. Molotov. Excellent answer. And choice. Charles. Another one, Molotov. Molotov. You give that little lady a Molotov cocktail or a nothing cocktail? A Molotov. A Molotov. That seems to be the answer, and it's a very good answer, too, I must say, Richard. Son of Molotov. Son of Molotov. That would have been five so far, and Betty White. Muzzletoff. Muzzletoff out there. Okay, Verley, you drew a blank on that <laughs> one. Now, right. Roger, again, you're in the driver's seat here. This is the second time here. One to win the game is all you need. Henry said, <clears throat> Life is strange being married to a lady magician. How strange? I'll tell you. <laughs> In fact, just yesterday, she blanked. Blank. She just blanked. Oh, I, oh, I have another that? perfect answer. Life is strange being what married to a lady magician. In fact, just yesterday, she blanked. Strange. Oh, oh, I have another perfect answer. Just yesterday, she blanked. Ta-da. Finished. Let me just take a little peek at it here. Excellent answer. Uh, Wait till we get to Encino tonight. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, ready? That's a very good answer. Everybody's finished. We'll come over to Roger Young. Henry said, Life is strange being married to a lady magician. In fact, just yesterday she blanked. Disappeared. Disappeared is a good answer. <laughs> One will win the game. All right, Bill, show us your act. Right. What is that? And nothing. nothing. She yeah. disappeared. Uh huh. Oh, that wins the game. What are the rest of you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations to you, so stand by for a moment or so here now while we say goodbye to this sweet lady. Burley Bailey, you're going to go home. Right. I'm sorry to see you go, Burley. You're a sweet lady. We've Thank got a you. gift for you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Burley Thank Bailey. You. Thank goodbye. You. You got $2,250. And again, you're going to try for over $5,000 here in the Big Money Supermatch. Shall we do it? Ready. Okay, we polled a recent audience and we got their best response to this. <laughs> Blank father. Now, the answer they gave most often are members worth $500 if you match it. $250 and $100 if you match the bottom one. Whom do you call on? Brett. Well, how about Godfather? Godfather. That's one. Richard? <laughs> Stepfather. Stepfather. Okay, two. Uh, Betty? Betty, the third position is hard, usually, but you have a fertile, creative mind. I see. You ought to be able to come up with something. <laughs> Our father. Our father. Oh, that's... Okay. Oh! No, can I change that? I don't know. Can she change it? I cribbed it from no, Richard. No, she yeah. can't change it. Can, you, can he change and ask for Richard? <laughs> no. No. We've got to go with this. You Our father, it. stepfather, and godfather. Do you want one of those, or is there a better one that she is giving you by mental telepathy right now? Uh, I'll have to go with Godfather. Godfather is the one. That's the one we're looking for. We'll find out if it's up there and if so where. So we'll begin down at the bottom as usual and reveal, if you would please, sir, the $100 response. Our father is one that Betty gave you. Yep. He is giving you a little assist up there, isn't he? Okay, looking for Godfather. Are you under the $250 response? Grandfather. Oh, is that the one you thought of? Yeah. That's a very good one. All right, last chance for the Godfather. Here's the $500 response. Okay. Good. So that means you have $2,750. Now you're going to play again for $5,000. Is this your first time for $5,000? Or no, you played once before for $5,000. And you blew it. Mm. <laughs> Let's see what happens now. You have to match one celebrity head to head exactly. Which one will it be? Uh, Richard, please. Okay, Richard, get ready to write. Roger will face me. Here's the $5,000 question. Sing. Blank Hepburn. All right, 
right, he's finished. Now, Roger, what answer would you like to give us which you think would match his in this case? Blank Hepburn. Catherine Hepburn. Catherine. Okay. Now, Richard, he says Catherine Hepburn will match you for 5000 What do you say? I'm sorry, I was thinking of that pretty English lady. Oh, the English lady, Audrey Hepburn. Her middle name is Catherine. Yeah. When life gets busy, ready. Yes. Bring it home. Oh yeah! You're excited? I am too. Hello there. Here we are. We're gonna play another game, and we're very happy to introduce to you Marnie Davis. Hello, Marnie Davis. Thank you. Now we're gonna find out a little bit about her. Please tell us the Marnie Davis story. <laughs> I'm from Denver, Colorado. I live there. I'm an unemployed consumer reporter. A consumer reporter? Yes. You mean like for television or radio stations? Radio. Radio, okay. yeah. That's an interesting field, isn't it? Fascinating. If yeah. anybody needs a good-looking consumer reporter, <laughs> just write to our office here, and we'll pass on uh, all of that mail to Marnie Davis. Thank you. It's all right, Marnie, let's have a go at it here. I ask you to make a selection. A, please. A it is. Here we go. Everybody plays. New game. Hey, they got a new warden at the prison. They got a new warden at the prison after they caught the old warden making blank in the electric chair. <laughs> I say, I, I hope I didn't mislead you with that. They got a new warden at the prison after they caught the old warden making blank in the electric chair. Now, I think I have it. I'm yes. not dead sure, but I think. I'm using think the electric chair. Or less, <laughs> All right, everybody's ready. Nice answer, okay, here we go. Marnie, they got a new warden at the prison after they got the after they caught the old warden making blank in the electric chair. All I can think of is making whoopee. Making whoopee. <laughs> you don't look that old. Remember that old Eddie Cantor song? Is that what you're thinking of? Sure. Another night, another June. What do you say, Bill? It's a lovely answer, but I thought of something much more shocking. Making coffee in the Making electric. coffee. Shocking. You see, it's a play on words. Don't boo him. He's a star. Brett, what do you say? Oh, go ahead, boo him. <laughs> <laughs> Bless Do that you. speech. <laughs> <laughs> now, the trick of this game is to choose answers that the contestants will choose so that they will win. Love. Love. <laughs> I've often wondered what making whoopee is. It's, uh, 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 Maybe we better right. get an electric chair. Yes, let's get an electric chair, Charles. Bacon and eggs. Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Now we come to Elaine Joyce. They caught the, they got a new warden at the prison after they caught the old warden making blank in the electric chair, and she said whoopee. And I say whoopee. You do. <laughs> Marty. Can you imagine that? Make him whoopee in an electric chair, Richard? Why not? I certainly can. Whoopee in love. love. That's the same thing. There it is. Three for you, Marnie. What about you? Poor Betty. <laughs> now, I believe you will have grounds to boo again. I said coffee. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I deserve it. Hey, you know, no he one said my break. answer. Well, what was your, your answer? Toast. No. <laughs> I like I yours, Betty. You Grounds to Okay, three for you, and your question will come along, but right now we gotta do a little message, and this is it. What? Out on two. Here we are, out on two. How much time we got here? 15, 7, 47, 7, or whatever we got. Listen, you were all splendid. Some of you will come back, and some of you will never be heard from again. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, next time we get together, these are the ones who will be here on this here now stage. Scully Mitchell, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Joan Cullen, Richard Dawson, 
and Paddy Boy. Team Raven Match Game 75, join us next time. Goodbye. In one quarter, with a genius level IQ of 150, a graduate of Oxford University with a master's in mathematics and a law degree. At over 350 pounds, a global quiz show champion, the beast. And in the other corner, challengers like you. Unleash the beast! I want to crush these guys. $105,000 says you can't beat me. Wow. The Chase, all new Tuesday, 8, 7 central, only on Game Show Network. This is the battlefield for our game of speed and strategy. These are the letters that lead to victory on Blockbusters. And here's the start.